Hello, fellow young people. This is Data Strain, and I've got something to talk about. I'm tired of starting off my videos like that. Hey guys, what's up? It's Data, and today we're going to be talking about the Arsenal script from Native Control. I'm going to be using Arsenal LPP for the Launchpad Pro. Um, that basically gives you push functionality in almost any MIDI controller that you could think of that is grid based. Right. So let's just get right into it. We're going to be discussing the Note Plus pack, the XY mode, um, and the Scale Sequencer mode. There are many other modes that you can purchase. These are just the ones that I've become most acquainted with for the most part. Um, and you should definitely check these out. It, it, makes, the, it makes the Launchpad Pro essentially almost as powerful as a push one minus the screens and the encoders but otherwise it's it's nuts right um so as you can see here i just got like a drum rack and you know this is very typical of the launchpad pro you just have like a 64 note layout um this is where the script differs though so if we hit the mode again you now have um a loop point selection so you can do eight bars four bars two bars a single bar however you want to do it. Um, this also lets you step sequence. So let's get that kick. Now I add like a snare. And another thing that you get with this is note repeat functionality. So we're gonna do that with our hats. And one thing you'll notice too is that it's just like the push in the fact that you can uh, use pressure to determine how loud or how soft it hits, right? So let's do that again. So, you know, not only do you get note repeat functionality, but then you can actually step edit everything after the fact. So we can just take out some of these notes here. Just, you know, just for the hell of it. Um, let's go here. Yeah. And when note repeat's not on, this is basically your resolution setting over here. And when you use it with note repeat, it uh, determines the swing that's applied to the note repeat. Um, and then as well on top of that you get 16 velocities in which you re can record in so we can do this hi-hat and then you can record It gives you 16 different velocity levels as it goes up So that way if you don't want to have velocity sensitivity on but you want to still keep your dynamics you can do that um, Really good for when you step sequence as well um, so we're going to go over to, oh, this is another one. This is another drum uh, drum layout, right? These are shakers. You can color code your drums by assigning um, colors to sample names. Um, so kicks can be red, hi-hats can be green, snares can be blue, etc. Um, you can use this for all of your drum rack sounds. It's uh, done in a settings file, so that's pretty cool. Um, then we'll go over here. Um, we have the a note layout similar to the push. Basically a drum rack note layout. So that's pretty cool. Note repeat also works here. Um, you can also turn that on and off. You can have a chromatic layout if you'd like. You can change the orientation. You can change the scale type and you can change your root note as well. Um, so let's take that off. Um, another cool thing, so if we hit shift and then the mode again, all these modes are set up in using these auxiliary buttons right here, um, but you set them up wherever you want to. So where I have them may not be where you end up putting them, just as a disclaimer, right? Um, so for here, I want to select a one bar loop for that. And with this, we can step sequence, or we can step sequence um, mel uh, melodies. And 
Now let's say we want to continue that, we can duplicate that, and now we'll select both of these. You can also do chords as well. So let's take uh, like this one, let's say, and make that a chord. So that's polyphonic um, step uh, scale sequencing. Sorry, <laughs> had a brain fart for a second. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the um, the plugins mode. So you can load in your favorite plugins, give them a color so you know which one is which, and then depending on the plugin, this will fill up with different presets. Um, so we're actually going to go over to my drum rack. This is Transient Master. If I select that, these are all different presets for Transient Master. Sorry if that got a little loud, I just wanted to give you an example. So that's very cool as well. Um, and the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is one of my personal favorites, and it is the XY mode. So I've actually got an auto filter on my master channel, and this is controlling the filter frequency, this is controlling the resonance, um, and it's velocity sensitive as well. So the harder I hit it, the faster it moves, the faster it moves, and the slower I hit it, the slower it moves. Um, so let's hear that in action. That's very cool to have in a live situation as well as a production situation because you can record that into your arrangement. So yeah, I mean, that's just, that is just a basic overview of all the things that the matrix modes can do with Arsenal. Um, and it applies to many other MIDI controllers. You could use any launch pad. You can use um, so many of them, you know. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check them out um, as well as a link to their YouTube channel so you can see the scripts in action and find out which ones are right for you. You can buy them individually or you can buy them as a complete package and save about 40% off the entire purchase. But um, I mean, if you already have this controller and if you've been considering getting like an Ableton push to really enhance your Ableton live workflow, I suggest checking these out first. At the very most, you're gonna spend like 67 bucks. And if that doesn't work for you, just go ahead and buy the push. It's a very low, a low cost of entry. Um, but it's crazy, <laughs> you know, it's, it, a ton of flexibility and functionality and that on top of the Launchpad Pros um, you know it's already great as is it's very lightweight it can be used standalone by itself and now when you're working in Ableton you have even more control than you had originally with the Launchpad Pro um, so I cannot recommend this highly enough um, and I want to thank Native Control for letting me do this review um, and letting me express how I feel about these um, these scripts because they're just they're fantastic and I think that many people could benefit from using these um, even if you already have a push um, one or two they've got scripts for both they uh, made the native control made pxt live which offers a lot of similar functionality as well um, so check them out guys it's tight right um, if you want to see me use this more in action on the beats that i actually make follow me on instagram that's where i pretty much put all of my beats um, i make a lot of ideas but i never really finish anything so um, if you want to check out my music and you want to you know kind of support me a little bit, follow me on Instagram, um, become a patron, tell me what you want fr as, from me as a patron, and I will try my best to do so. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, give me a thumbs down if you did not, and feel free to let me know why, I would love to improve. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully I can get some more videos done soon. Um, I've just been playing with this a lot and keeping busy on Instagram, so check me out. Uh, so thank you again, Native Control. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Keep on creating.